Hey, this is Ken. And I know this is a drone channel, so that's why I have a flashlight. Wait, that doesn't make sense. This is the Through Night TN42 V2. This is a throw, not a floodlight. And we're going to throw it up to the drone that we have hovering above the AT&T building. How, how far away do you think that is? Feet. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this looks on maximum power. I'm going to turbo it. First shine on that building over there. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see what it looks like if I first go up the building and then see if we can go over, over here and find it on the drone. You can see us down there. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, there we go. You can see where we are, can't you? That's a good, that's a good, powerful light. <laughs> Did you find us? All right, very good. This thing is an awesome light. On uh, full blast, 4,800-ish lumens. So just shine it down the street. That's pretty good, man. Look at that. Spotlight. On the buildings. Look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I don't want to shine it in the, in the car, but uh, what do you think? It's bright. <laughs> <laughs> now, just for funsies, I've got the world's most powerful handheld laser. This is a two watt blue laser. Never shine a laser in your camera, ever. It will ruin it, even from this distance. But I will shine it near the camera so you can see the beam. Let's see. Can you see that? I think you can. Let's see. Yep, you can. Okay, as close as I dare without going in the lens. Because I actually have ruined a drone camera before by doing this. <laughs> Let me demonstrate the difference between a throw and a flood. This is the Imolent MS-18 flood. It says it goes up to 100,000 lumens. This is the Through Night TN42 V2 throw. So first the floodlight. And I'll blast it at 100,000. There you go. So you see it's and you can hear it. The fan comes on because it heats up quite a bit. But it lights up that whole building. But it doesn't really get to those buildings back there all that well because it disperses so much. Okay? Now, the through night. Full power. There you go. See, it's a nice little spot. And if you want to go over here and light that building up, by golly, you can. Look at that. Sorry, people. I know that's annoying, right? Similar shape, but this one is heavy to lug around. This weighs like three pounds. That's why I have a shoulder strap, because carrying it around like a regular flashlight, well, it would just kill your wrist. This is handy dandy, little fun size, and you can still blind people if you really wanted to with it. Um, if you drop this on your foot, you're going to go to the hospital. If you drop this on your foot, eh, you might lose a toenail, but it won't kill you. The throw distance for this is, look at that, right up there on the screen. That's pretty impressive. The throw distance for this 2-watt blue laser, it can be seen from the International Space Station. That's the truth. <laughs> so, let's shine it on Nissan Stadium. I know there's nobody over there. Look at that. This is like a lightsaber, man. It's fun. You got to make the noise when you do it, too. You want to make sure that you don't hit aircraft with it. It's no good. But yeah, it pretty much lands on anything you point it at. It looks like the beam just goes to a certain point and stops, but that's just the reflected light distance that you can see. It keeps going. Oh, here comes a helicopter. That would be bad. Don't shine lasers or any kind of light at aircraft, right? Right. So Ken, what's the practical purpose of a laser like this, you might ask? Just to blind your neighbors for fun? No, to burn a hole through both sides of a metal beer can. No, the actual reason for this is for astronomy, so that you can point to a star. Hey, look at that star. Look at that, that one? No, that one. That's what it's for for realsies. Oh, and you can pop 20 balloons if you line them up.
The Through Night TN42 V2 is a wonderful little light. It also has something called Firefly mode, which is not very bright at all. This will last for, I don't know, like 10 weeks or something crazy. I'll put it on the screen. Okay, well, it wasn't 10 weeks, but see, look at that. Firefly mode. Have a little nice little night light at your camping spot. Love this light. Link in the description for all the things I've shown. Not only is this parking garage a great place to launch a drone from, but it also overlooks, what is it, second? Second, yep. Second Avenue, which is where the Nashville bomb happened. We do not need fire on standby at this time. It just destroyed the whole street, man. They're rebuilding. I don't think a single window survived. It's a little dark down there. Maybe we should light things up a little bit. <laughs> All right? Come on over here and get a shot of the street as I light it up for these people who are looking. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that'll work. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. Are you getting that? Yeah. Woo! That'll work. Hello, friends. My favorite bit of Loom Cube gear is the Loom Cube strobe. Put one on your drone so that you can fly at night to keep that visibility. Stay legal. Get you a Loom Cube strobe. And the best part about the Loom Cube strobe, not only is it bright, but it's delicious. Yummy, yummy. Link in the description. Oh, that's better. <laughs>